Now, John, with all these storms, we're all wondering if we're going to get to enjoy a nice Memorial Day weekend or if it's just going to be more rain. Well, uh, there's a chance we could see some more rain. There is a chance there could be some more storms in the area, but the probabilities are low right now. Activity is really active back to the west, though, as you can see over the western sections of North Texas. Looking at that visible satellite picture, those uh, features really stand out. Moving back to the activity we looked at a moment ago, we've got several tornado warnings, most of those around Wichita Falls to the south there, and severe thunderstorms stretch up into Oklahoma, and we've also still got the severe thunderstorms there south of Abilene that did produce a uh, severe a uh, tornado warning in fact for that area. However, we do not anticipate that moving into East Texas tonight. Mainly that's going to affect points to the west where we have a uh, moderate risk of severe storms and uh, possibility of some large tornadoes there in western Oklahoma and northwest of the Metroplex. But the marginal risk extends only into the extreme northwestern parts of our area. This is through 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, for Sunday through early Monday, we have a slight risk, mainly along I-30 to the north, that uh, we will see some severe storms there and a marginal risk down to I-20 in the southern end of that. And then finally, Monday through early Tuesday, there's a marginal risk for severe, for, uh, severe storms there over most of deep east Texas. So we have seen higher risks in the past and right now getting a little bit of a break from those storms. However, here's what we expect to see as those storms continue into central Texas through uh, this evening at 7 o'clock, but break up before they get into East Texas, so that's certainly good news for us. As we go through Sunday, we'll have the heat and humidity to deal with, but not so much in the way of the storms in the area. We do get a cold front coming in uh, next week. That is going to, once it moves through, leave behind some slightly lower temperatures and at least give us a little bit of relief from the muggy conditions. Also, it's going to uh, shut down the chances for rain a little bit toward the latter part of the week, so at least uh, we we can look forward to things improving before perhaps we see more activity develop there, uh, possibly there on Wednesday. Temperatures right now, we are seeing right near 90 degrees. You put the humidity with it, and this is what it feels like above 100 degrees over a large part of the area. I see some as high as 115 there in the Crockett vicinity, uh, 108 in Henderson, uh, Jacksonville showing 100 tight, or 104 along with Longview, Nacogdoches 102, and it feels like 106 in Lufkin. So that's that's what you're dealing with when you actually go outside. So find a way to stay hydrated and stay cool. We'll see Sunday afternoon temperatures back into the 90s, similar to what they were today, and that humidity is not going away. So we'll continue to see that heat index running above 100 degrees. Even through Monday afternoon, we'll see those temperatures well into the 90s, especially in deep east Texas. Expect tonight a low of 74 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, we expect to see a high near 93, heat index about 103 and it will be mostly sunny. Here's a look at the next seven days, and again, we see the chances of rain are no higher than about 30% until we get into Saturday, when right now it looks like there might be an increase in showers and thunderstorms again. And for deep east Texas, we expect to see warm temperatures as well this week with a little relief coming the second half of the week. KETK.com is our website, and you can find that forecast there anytime.